तो हार्दिक पांड्या हैज रिप्लेस्ड रोहित शर्मा एज द कैप्टन ऑफ मुंबई इंडियंस एंड ही विल बी लीडिंग द साइड नेक्स्ट ईयर एंड जस्ट टू लेट यू नो वी हैव गॉट अ मेगा ऑप्शन कमिंग अप नेक्स्ट ईयर सो डू यू थिंक रोहित शर्मा विल गो फॉर अनदर टीम इन 2025 एंड लीड अनदर साइड इन द आईपीएल आई वुड लाइक टू नो योर ओपिनियन इन द कमेंट सेक्शन बिलो So, Pragun, the inevitable has actually happened, and Rohit Sharma has been replaced as the captain of Mumbai Indians. Now, Hardik Pandya will take over the captaincy from him. Um, what do you think? Was it a good decision, or uh, just like us, you also think it was not a good decision? So, I'm actually pretty happy that first of all, one of my predictions actually came true. I predicted that on, uh, I guess, end of November that. Uh, it might be end of the road for Rohit as the captain for Mumbai Indians when Hardik Pandya joined joined his joined the team back. So personally, I would have liked if uh, Rohit would have continued captaincy at least for a season because whatever happened during the World Cup, I really liked the way he was thinking and he was uh, placing the field setup and he was aggressive with his field setups. So I think that obviously he deserved that World Cup. But at the end, Pat Cummins and Australia won the game. So I think he, I would have liked if he would have been the captain of Mumbai Indians and maybe got uh, got to see them off for another title. So I think I would have liked uh, Rohit Sharma for another season. But I don't think that it is too wrong of a choice by getting Hardik Pandya uh, as a captain of the team. You mentioned about the World Cup, and I have got something important to mention about the World Cup. Um, the brand ambassador of course the guy who was doing the ad campaign of the world cup it was sharukh khan and he kept on saying all it takes is one day all it takes is one day but no indian fan would have thought that 19th of november would change the destiny so much um, so that we would see rohit sharma not even leading his ipl franchise forget about the 2024 t20 world cup and uh, personally what hurts see of course i have never been a rohit sharma fan i have never been a mumbai indians fan but what hurts is to see the way um, rohit sharma was phased out of mumbai indians from the captaincy because if rohit sharma would have come up with a video that i want to relinquish the captaincy and play as a batter we would have accepted that we would have agreed it but uh, mumbai indians just put up an instagram post saying that thank you rohit sharma i mean that was um, ridiculous uh, to be honest i don't think obviously i agree with you that it, that it was not a right way to treat a captain who has won five titles for you not just five titles obviously winning five titles is not an easy feat we have seen that in ipl but to but to have a leader for so long it was it, it is a pretty big deal even if uh, virat kohli didn't win any ipl titles with rcb they still respect him and and the message that goes out to the fans it is that virat kohli may not be their captain but he is still one of the not one of the he is still the most respected player in the team so with that post and the t- tweet uh, t- tweets they uh, put out when they announced hardik as a captain i thought that they were pretty silly and pretty under under prepared i think the pr work was not done uh, carefully th- at that time and with uh, rohit sharma being re- relinquished as a captain i think just like you asked uh, the viewers Uh, in uh, at the start of the episode, I think it might be a good time for Rohit to look at a look at another options with the mega option coming up. I would personally like to know your thoughts, what he should do or where he could go. I would just like to drop a hint for our viewers: the team from Tamil Nadu does not have a captain after their most successful captain in IPL. And uh, okay, so. this is not a big secret to be kept so i'm talking about csk and csk don't have a captain after um, ms dhoni um, of course they will be giving the captaincy to ruturaj but of course this is just a wild theory that we are talking about and we would love to see that wild swap happen in the next ipl but um, do you think is there any other team that would like to target rohit sharma in t- in the in uh, 2025 if he comes in the auction i think there will be no team that won't be targeting him obviously people would have their would have their budgets but because it is a mega auction you have pretty much big budgets so it depends where where does uh, rohit sharma come, if he come up in the auction where does he come up uh, and which players come ahead of him so pretty i think all the 10 teams including mumbai would like to have rohit sharma back but if if he comes in the auction 
I think it will be one of the biggest biggest name we have seen in the auction. And I think that could be finally, that could be equivalent to uh, somewhat like uh, Sam Curran getting an 18 and a half crore contract with Kings and Punjab, Punjab Kings. So I think Rohit Sharma getting into the auction is in itself a wild theory. And the, and the sad thing about mega auctions and even auctions is that you can't control where you go. So Huge. even if if even if uh, the the conspiracy love, lover in me wants uh, Rohit Sharma to be in uh, Chennai Super Kings after MS Dhoni, but there is there is only a ten percent chance that he would get to go to Chennai Super Kings because I think in all seriousness, all ten franchises w- would be keen to have someone like Rohit Sharma, and not just for the for his captaincy or his or his batting. Just like we have mentioned in our previous episodes as well, it is all about brand value and face value. Yeah. Mumbai Indians wanted someone, someone uh, like Hardik Pandya for his face value and his brand value because they know that he is a future leader. And Rohit Sharma may may not be uh, may not be a leader at twenty twenty in twenty twenty five, but he will still be one of the most relevant people in the IPL. So I think all ten teams would be looking to have him in their teams. Yeah, I think our uh, concept of this wild theory ends as soon as we say all ten teams will target him. If all 10 teams is, are going to target him, why would Mumbai Indians leave him? So um, we'll put that controversy to rest with the, this statement. But I would like to ask you about um, Hardik Pandya as captain of Mumbai Indians. See, Hardik Pandya left Gujarat Titans and we were all stunned to say the least that why did he leave captaincy? He was getting captaincy in Gujarat Titans. He was getting that brand value in Gujarat Titans. But he left Gujarat to go to Mumbai and play as a vice captain. That was something which was very tricky and uh, we did not really expect, except you, that Rohit Sharma won't be the captain in 2024 and we'll have Hardik Pandya as the captain. But does it really make sense because the make auction is just a year ahead and they could have waited for one year, can't they? The thing is, Hardik Pandya would find it pretty challenging to captain Mumbai Indians, not just because you have you have players like Rohit Sharma who were captain for so long and players like Jaspreet Bumrah. But the thing is, when he was the captain of Gujarat Titans, he had a pretty, pretty solid mind in his uh, camp, which was Ashish Nehra. I think he would be personally missing Ashish Nehra on the sidelines with his reverse cap and coconut in his hand. And to be honest, captaining, captaining Mumbai Indians in Vankhede isn't as easy as Rohit made it look for all these years. So I think he would be in for a in for a ride when he will be captain in Mumbai this season but i would be i would be uh, i would be waiting to see it happen i think uh, the biggest reason why rohit sharma was left um, from this uh, captaincy is that uh, mumbai indians wanted to phase him out like they won't be giving him the captaincy uh, this year and the next year they won't retain him uh, rohit sharma will announce his retirement i think this is the main uh, thinking that's been going on but uh, let's not talk about that. Um, for Hardik Pandey, I think the biggest challenge won't be the IPL. The biggest challenge will be the days that uh, lead up to the IPL. Because I'm really sure his Instagram account would be full of abuses right now at the point we are recording this audio, uh, recording this podcast. And uh, so he has to come up with that abuses and he has to uh, take them generously and come out and uh, lead Mumbai Indians because Mumbai Indians is the biggest franchise in IPL. We talk about CSK, but both of them are at par if you talk. Um, it's a baseless argument if we start to compare them, but both of them are at par. And uh, with that, I'll uh, move to Pragon uh, with something that he has to say and that would be the last thing in this episode. So, like you said, that he would be having a pretty tough time uh, by, because of social media and comments and everything. I think for someone who, who went through that uh, coffee with current fiasco, I think th- this won't be much of a problem. I think that was a much bigger problem for Harvik Pandya and even KLR who didn't speak anything. So, I think this would be fine. At least no one would have to delete an episode now. Yes, uh, I really tried getting that episode on internet, but I could not. Wish I saw that um, by the time it was on Hotstar. Never mind. Um, so we'll end this episode and uh, we all hail the clown Hardik Pandya. Um, and with that, uh, we'll end this episode. Thank you.